Hi guys, welcome to Finest Vehicles. Today we will look at forgotten and underrated American performance cars. Number 10. The 1992 Dodge Daytona IROC RT. In 1992, the Daytona received an RT performance package that astounded the automotive world with its ultimate performance, lighter chassis, and superb handling, resulting in a superior power-to-weight ratio. The Daytona was first introduced in 1984 as the spiritual successor to the Challenger. In the same year, the Camaro was replaced as the official vehicle of the International Race of Champions, with all of the drivers competing in heavily modified Daytonas. With direct ignition and cylinder heads designed by Lotus, the front-wheel drive Daytona IROC RT was powered by a 2.2-liter 134 cubic inch, four-cylinder turbo engine producing 224 horsepower. This was pretty amazing considering other muscle cars at the time, like the Mustang GT and Camaro Z28, produced comparable power output. Number 9. The 1975 Chevrolet Cosworth Vega. This 1975 Chevy masterpiece, which began as a limited edition, high-performance subcompact Vega, is only known to a select group of car enthusiasts. Thanks to a partnership with the British car manufacturer Cosworth, it was a fast, light, sport hatchback coupe designed to provide the most driving excitement possible. If Chevrolet had produced every Vega like this performance variant, it would have dominated the small car market in the 1970s. A robust, potent 2.0-liter 122-cubic-inch four-cylinder Cosworth twin-cam engine with electronic fuel injection powers this highly collectible classic. Number 8. The 1985-1987 Dodge Shelby Charger Dodge combined Shelby and Charger, two of the most well-known brands in the American performance market, in the 1980s. The Shelby Charger's sportier look, front-wheel drive, Dodge Omni chassis, and Shelby racing stripes made it something other than a typical performance vehicle. A 2.2-liter 134-cubic-inch turbocharged four-cylinder engine producing 175 horsepower was housed under the hood of this lightweight subcompact vehicle. In the late 1980s, it was also among the fastest accelerating American production cars, reaching 60 miles per hour in just under 7.5 seconds. Number 7. The 2009 Pontiac G8 GXP. The Pontiac G8, in its high-performance variant, boasted a formidable 6.2-liter 378-cubic-inch LS3 V8 engine sourced from Corvette. With an impressive power output of 361 horsepower and a 0-60 to 60 time of 4.5 seconds, it emerged as Pontiac's most potent and capable offering in recent years. This underappreciated performance monster boasted an aggressive stance, an elegant interior with lots of legroom, and exceptional handling qualities in addition to its powerful engine. But with a higher price tag and the downturn in the economy, it was less appealing to new buyers. Number 6. The 1989 Ford Taurus SHO. The Taurus SHO, which stands for Super High Output, was a high-performance version of the Taurus that was set apart from the standard Taurus by a number of features, including a side cladding, redesigned bumpers, sports seats, fog lamps, a mercury sable hood, and an 8,000 RPM tachometer. This four-door sedan's 3.0-liter 183-cubic-inch V6 engine, which was supplied by Yamaha, produced an amazing 220 horsepower when paired with a five-speed manual transmission. With a top speed of 145 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 time of 6.6 .6 seconds, it was a monstrous and swift vehicle back then. Number 5. The 1969 Mercury Marauder X100. Even among those who are aware of it, a lot of people have forgotten about Mercury Marauder X100. It was a bold, fashionable, and long-lasting high-performance Marauder derived from the late 1960s. Few cars at the time could match the audacity with which it seized performance car eminence. It was an enormous hardtop coupe with a massive big-block V8 engine. The Marauder X100's Cobra jet-derived engine generated 360 horsepower and 480 pound-feet of torque, transforming it into a completely new class of powerful vehicles. In 7.8 seconds, it could run from 0 to 60 miles per hour. 
In addition to its performance, it had bucket seats, road wheels made by Kelsey A's, rear fender skirts, and twin comfort lounge seats as options. Number 4. The 1986 Ford Mustang SVO. The SVO was without a doubt the sleekest, lightest, and most advanced Mustang ever produced when it was released in 1986. The Mustang SVO was a brief but intense rush of pure adrenaline. With its better weight distribution, four-wheel disc brakes, Coney adjustable shocks, and excellent steering, it was the best handling and performing Mustang of its time. With its aerodynamic nose and innovative biplane rear spoiler, the SVO remains one of the most unique Mustangs ever produced. It was interesting to note that the engine was a 2.3-liter 140 cubic inch turbocharged four-cylinder with 200 horsepower, which was a lot of power for such a small engine. Unfortunately, Mustang enthusiasts thought the car was too expensive, too sophisticated, and too European. Number 3. The 1990 Chevrolet Corvette C4 ZR1. Many people believe that the Chevy Corvette C4 generation was the worst ever. It doesn't have the classic look of the C2 or C3, nor does it have the refined feel of the C5 or C6. Actually, no one has ever remembered the 1990 Chevy Corvette C4 ZR1 as a period of outstanding car design. However, there's no denying that it fundamentally rewrote the original definition of what performance meant for an American car. The Corvette C4 was the most technologically advanced and thrilling vehicle of its time, boasting a completely redesigned chassis and a sleeker appearance. In addition, the powerful ZR1 boasted a 375 horsepower dual overhead cam LT5 V8 engine that was tuned by Lotus, making it a serious contender in the global race. Number 2. The 2004-2006 Pontiac GTO. The Pontiac GTO of the fifth generation was, in many ways, the most underappreciated performance vehicle of the recent past. In contrast to the conventional GTO, it was an incredibly quick, reasonably priced, and well-built performance vehicle that handled and braked superbly. Still, it was able to go unnoticed during its whole production run. With a rear-wheel drive LS2 6.0-liter 366 cubic inch V8 engine and a six-speed manual transmission, the looks may not quite live up to the iconic name, but the performance sure does. It can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.7 seconds, with a maximum speed of 175 miles per hour. And now, for number one. The 1994-1996 Chevrolet Impala SS. To tell the truth, some people still harbor sentimental feelings towards the 7th generation Chevrolet Impala SS. You could say that not many cars today are as much fun to drive as this mid-1990s cult favorite. Boasting 260 horsepower and 330 pound-feet of torque, the high-performance engine propelling the Chevy Caprice is none other than a spirited small-block 5.7-liter 348 cubic inch LT1 V8, borrowed from the C4 Corvette. Behind the wheel, it transforms the driving experience into an exhilarating journey. It also has a luxurious leather interior, large 17-inch tires, and only three color choices, dark green, cherry metallic, and black. Which one would you like to own? Give your opinion in the comments. Did you enjoy this video? Then please like and subscribe for more of the best new vehicle videos here at Finest Vehicles.